All right, now we're doing 7Q, two fighters, one winner. This is by Scopula, and 89% of the people like it. We're going to create a function that returns the name of the winner in a fight between two fighters. Each fighter takes a turn attacking uh, the other, and whoever kills the other first is victorious. Death is defined as having health less than or equal to zero. Each fighter will be a fighter object. Uh, each We're going to see all the uh, fighter classes below for whatnot. Uh, both health and damage per attack will be integers larger than zero. Uh, we can mutate the fighter objects, and our function also receives a third argument, a string, with the name of the fighter that attacks first. So we don't really have to worry about this because we're not going to be writing anything. Uh, we're just, we just have to say who's going to win. Is it going to be Harry or Lou or whatever? All right, and down here we've got... Uh, like this dot name this is the name of the, of the fighter. So like fighter one dot name, uh, fighter one dot health, fighter one dot damage per attack, and the same thing for fighter two. And then it's also going to have whatever whoever's first attacker right here. So let's get rid of this, and we're going to start from scratch in normal syntax. We're going to declare some variables, uh, specifically how many hits each one of these guys can take before they go down. So we're going to say let damage one equal and then we're going to say uh, fighter1.health divided by fighter2.damage per attack. All right? And that's going to give us, uh, let me see. That's going to give us damage 1. So 2.5. So, uh, Whoever fighter one is in this first case, which is Lou, can take 2.5 of Harry's hits. But it's not 2.5. We're going to need to make this a ceiling because that means he can take three hits before going down. So we're going to wrap this thing up in parentheses. And we're going to say math.seal. And if you don't know what math.seal is, it's the function that always rounds up and returns a smaller integer, this smaller integer greater than or equal to any given number. All right, so this is just going to round up. Let's test it again. So as we see, uh, the first guy, Lou, can take three hits. So now let's do it again, but let's do it the opposite way. Just take this right here. And let's say fighter two health fighter one damage per attack and damage two. All right, let's test that out for damage two. And so it's equal. These two are equal. So no matter what, it's going to be the first attacker that uh, wins because, you know, the second the guy isn't going to be able to attack the second time or the last time. All right. So that being said, we're going to say uh, if damage one is greater than damage two. We're gonna say uh, return fighter one dot name. All right. Then we're gonna do an else if damage one is less than damage two. We're gonna say return fighter two dot name. All right. And if they're equal, like in this case, we're going to say uh, return, what are we going to return? Uh, first attacker. Do we even need the F here? Let's see. Test it out. No. Let's take this out of here. No, we do need the F. Now let's test it out. All right, there we go. And attempt it. Looks good. Submit it. All right. And you can see here, pretty much the same thing. A little bit different syntax, but uh, the same. Down here, uh, it's doing something different than what we did, but not too much different. It's just uh, doing minus equals each damage per attack. Uh, and then here's some more stuff and some more stuff and you can just check it out if you feel like it. Let's go over here to mine. Just me on this. Very much like it. Best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.